Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Aileen, and here we like to talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, skincare, and fashion. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing and joining the family. I'm back, I'm back. And today we're gonna talk about the Shantikai Giraffe Collection. I did pick up the quartet and one of the lip shades. So if you wanna see an eye look, some swatches, some comparisons, then keep on watching. But before we go, like we always say, comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to it. What a better way to come back than with Shantikai. You guys know I love Shantikai. So let's talk about the giraffe collection. This is the outer packaging. It looks just like the box, exactly the same. You do get all the ingredients to all four shades. They are vegan, they are cruelty free, and here are the shades. Now, as far as, it's like a pearl white. All of the images are taken by Shantikai photographers and in one of my videos in the past, and I will link that down in the description box where I believe it's where I swatched all the luminescent eye shades in both wet and dry. But here is the quartet. Those are the shades, that looks better. So let's go ahead and swatch them. So this matte neutral shade, this is a true matte. It is a beautiful shade. Then it's this pearly white and it looks like a topper, but mm, looks like you can build it up. Very nice. And then this is another warm shade. This is like a satin and it does have that satin look, if you can see that there compared to the matte, it's absolutely stunning. And just like all of the their quartets, at least ones that I own, there's a shimmery shade that kind of shifts. And this has like a pinkish, purplish, it's just beautiful. And the sparkle, that would be the lid shade. Very shimmery, very beautiful, very spring-like. That's nice. It also comes with the little booklet inside. It goes into the details of the giraffe, the organization that some of the proceeds from the purchase go towards. And it's very nice. I love reading the little booklets when I get them. So for this shifty, shimmery shade. I wanted to swatch Crane and see, but I believe Crane will be darker. Yes, Crane is darker. So this is the quartet. This is Crane. And again, these are the luminescent eye shades. Next, I wanted to swatch Zebra. And Zebra is definitely different as well. Next, I'm going to swatch Pangolin. It's another one of the luminescent eye shades. And Pangolin has less pearlescent to it than the quartet shade, the shimmery quartet shade. But if you shift it, you could see the shift in the shade leans towards the Pangolin shade. Next, I wanted to swatch, this is the Mermaid Shadows, and I wanted to swatch Hermatite. And it is a, they, they are all different formulas. So this is Hermatite. It's definitely darker and different. Next is Cheetah. I love Cheetah for an inner highlight. I absolutely love this shade. Cheetah definitely has more pinkness to it, where this has more of that pearl white. There you go. Next is a Lion. Lion is definitely different, but this will be a nice shade with these right here from the quad as well. That'll be nice. 
Next is giraffe. So this is the giraffe on the luminescent eye shade and this is the giraffe on the quartet. It definitely leans towards the matte set. This is not matte. This is the luminescent eye shades. They do have like shimmer. You can see that there. And last for comparison is the cheetah. I believe this was from fall of last year. I love this shade. This shade is definitely more satin than it is a luminescent eye shade. But I'm going to put that here. And it is definitely, it looks similar, but it's definitely darker and packs more oomph and is not as matte as the matte brown in the quartet. So let's create a quick eye look. You can't go wrong with Shantagai. You cannot. So first I'm going to start with this matte brown shade and I'm going to start with the Sonia G Crease Pro, and I'm just going to put this in the crease and up towards the transition. And if you're interested in seeing the eye shades like a one and done, let me know and I could do like a quick reel or story or something on Instagram. If you're not following me there, that's at A Merch Beauty. But there you go. Very pretty, very subtle. And by the swatches you saw, you can definitely build this up. So I'm just gonna tap some right out here and then move my way up. Next, I'm gonna go with the same brush. I'm gonna go into this satin shade right here. And I'm gonna deepen this outer outer V, bring it up towards the crease. Just blend those together and make that look seamless. And you can definitely build it up by tapping. Next, I'm gonna go into this topper pearlescent shade and I'm going to highlight under the brow very softly. And this is using a Refer 12. I like to apply the most pigment right under the brow and then just kind of fluff out. So it just blends together, if you can see that. And we'll come back to that shade for an inner corner. Next, I want to try this shade right here all over the lid. I want to do one eye with my finger. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. This is so pretty. What I can appreciate is that I'm not getting fallout. I'm not sure if that is because I am using my finger. I did get some right there, but it could very well be my fat fingers. And then on this eye, I'm going to apply that same shade with my Worker Pro from Sonia G. I'm just going to dip into that shade and just pat it onto place and see if I get the same ump from the brush as I did my finger. I feel like the finger just gave a little more oomph and leaned a little more pearlescent and this leaned a little bit more towards that pinky purple. But they're both beautiful. And I'm not sure if the camera is catching that, that this one just looks more pearl and this one looks more pink. Not sure. Next, I'm just not adding any additional shadow, just blending this in so you can't see the crease where I placed. 
with a shimmery shadow on the lid. So pretty. And these are easy one and dones. You can create some really pretty looks with these without, without using all four shades. I used, I used all four shades because I want you to see all four shades. But let me know if you're interested in seeing them eye swatches. So I'm just going with this top, topper pearlescent shade and putting that as an inner corner. So I did add that as an inner corner highlight. And next with this matte brown, I'm just going to dip the brush, lightly tap, pinch it, and just run it across my lower lash line. I did bring that inner highlight corner low lower onto my lower lash but I just just bringing a little umph to the lower lash very softly with that matte brown color so so pretty I really love this quartet let me add some mascara and I'll be right back okay so we're back I did use the Chantecaille Faux Sils mascara I tight lined with a brown liner and then brought a, the brown liner onto the waterline on the bottom, just a little bit on the outside, and then finished it off with the nude, the Chantecaille liner in the shade Nude. Very pretty. So let's move on to lips. So in regards to the lips, I only picked up the shade Freesia. I just felt like the shades were very close to each other. And because this is a lip chic and it does have some sheerness to it i felt that they may possibly look too similar on the lips i believe one of the shades doesn't come until later but you can pre-order i do know they have a blush on the way and it is delayed due to everything going on in the world but we will see one soon so this is freesia It's a pretty shade, very neutral. It's my lips, but better. This is the shade of my natural lips. So this for me is a perfect shade where I can just, I don't even need a mirror. Just put it on and go. So I did just run to my purse to pick up Honeysuckle because that is one of my favorites and I really wanted to compare it but this is freesia and if you hear my sprinkler system outside i apologize but it's the first day in like a week that it's not freezing literally like 33 degrees outside in florida so i figured it's a good night to water my garden this is jaw rule and so this is Freesia, this is Jaw Roll. Jaw Roll definitely has more pink. And then this is, this is Honeysuckle. So I'm gonna put this one right next to Freesia. I feel like they're kind of similar, but free, um, Honeysuckle does have more pigment to it than Freesia. Freesia looks more sheer kind of more of a pale. Next is Latana. Latana definitely has more peach to it. Next is Peach Blossom. And this definitely has more peach to it. This is from spring 2021. And the others are from fall of 2021. And Hyssop, I love Hyssop. It's one of my favorite shades. Hyssop and Honeysuckle. And this is Hyssop. So you can differentiate them on the arm. This will be the lightest and most, most sheer on the lips, definitely is the Freesia, which is the new one. This is Honeysuckle, which is the one I always keep in my purse. 
So those are two definitely go-to shades for me. <laughs> That's it, everyone. I will have everything that I have on my face today down in the description box. It is a full face of Chantikai minus the brows. I did use the Mario Brow Pencil and the Kosas Brow Gel. So let me know if you guys have picked this up, what you think about it. I'm really excited for it. I feel like when I first saw the pictures, I thought it was gonna lean more cool, but it's definitely leaning more warm neutral. I really, really love this quartet. This is like an everyday eye look for me. Um, and if I don't want to use shimmer, then I love an all matte look. An all matte look with just a shimmer inner highlight and a shimmer brow and we're good to go. But again, if you're interested in just one color all over the eye, like a one and done with all four shades, either in a real or in a shorts, let me know and I'll definitely get that to you guys. I'm so happy to be back. Let me know if you want a house tour. I think I'm almost done getting the house in order and you can look forward to a live where we just catch up. I've been MIA for a while and a lot has gone on. But thank you all so much for coming and until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye.